How is it going guys? Drew Peacock here back with another video and today we are going to be exploring the deeper lore behind Paul Blart Mall Cop and the relationship he has between him and his daughter. We're going to be going on to the extended comic book series The Adventures of Paul Blart and just seeing what his backstory is and what made him the man we know and love. I'm joking of course, all jokes aside, today we are going to be looking at a different group of clowns. Although one could say they are just as heavy, we're looking at Mopar boys. We're going to be taking a look at some Mopar boys who poorly modified their vehicles and uh, now they're trying to sell them. Mopar boys love to flex how much horsepower they have. They love to love to you know live that lifestyle of hashtag horsepower. But who's going to tell them a lot of horsepower on a big-ass, heavy-ass vehicle does not equal winning races? Somebody tell these 320 credit scores, 30% APR a month, have an ass. But their cars ain't the shit. Anyways, we're going to look at some Mopar boys who riced out their vehicles. Let's go ahead and dive right in. Also, if you want me to do a video on other owners, such as maybe Mustang owners, Honda owners, Infinity owners, you know. Go ahead and find some listings, send it to my Gmail, and put in the subject bar which owner you want flamed up next. Let's go ahead and dive right in. First car is a 2004 Chrysler Crossfire Coupe, two door. Oh boy, the Crossfire. Such a cool car, said no one ever. This was the car you got if you couldn't afford a Mercedes. You got the Chrysler Crossfire. And then this guy drove the piss out of it, 170,000 miles. He's asking $5,000, which is, uh, I mean, uh, that's pretty damn cheap. I ain't gonna lie. But I wouldn't trust any Chrysler with 170,000 miles, so this thing probably doesn't run. Anyways, let's look at these photos. First photo, all right, we got we got a cool little yellow lower grille, some yellow upper grille, kind of a cow hood. I don't know. We'll have, to, we'll have to look closer and see what that is. We got a cool banner. Oh, God. This guy sure knows how to make a mean machine. Look at that cowl right there. What, this is before the Corvette ZR1? Did the, the, the Corvette see this guy's build and take inspiration from it? He's got the black and yellow theme, which I guess fits the early 2000s theme. That lets me know, honestly, the first owner probably didn't modify this vehicle. The second owner probably modified this right when that song Black and Yellow was just top in the charts. Because this thing is blinged out with some yellow spray paint. We got Sparco sticker, Gretty. We got some speed stickers. Nothing says your car is fast like speed. Like, if you look at every Lamborghini and Ferrari, they all have speed stickers on them from factory. Um, you just can't see them because they are matching in the paint. But yeah, this guy just wants everyone to know, man. This <laughs> this is a race car. Another Sparco sticker underneath his super functional canards. Sparco must have been a big investor in this car. They must have uh must have shelled out some big bucks to make sure this thing can win all the races. Uh, they got a big wing. And what, does do these things have sunroofs? Do do they have sunroofs? I see like a, a weather guard up there for a sunroof, but I don't remember if they have them or not. I've never looked into owning one, so I don't know the specs of these red spray painted brake calipers. I'd say that's one of everybody's first quote unquote modification. I wouldn't really call it a mod, but oh, I did it. I did it to my V6, so I know what it was like. And boy, did I think it did it something. I was like, damn, this thing looks mean now, man. This new edge, oh, this V6 just went from 190 horsepower to like 190 horsepower. Jesus, that was dumb. Anyways, does he have a description? He does not. Wow, no description. Uh, just no description needed. You see what you get. Do you want a race car? Do you have $5,000 you want to throw out? Huh, this is the car for you then. Like I said, I don't know what, what issues were prominent in these cars, so I don't know if $5,000 is a good price or a bad price. Like I said previously, and I will stand by it, I will not own a Dodge or Chrysler with 170,000 miles on it. Bye-bye. Next car, 2005 Dodge Magnum. $15,000, three times the price with a little bit more than half the miles. We got 107,000 miles. Not too bad, not too shabby, especially on the 05. That's not, not too bad at all. Let's take a look at these photos here. This was posted about a year ago. And as you can tell, no buyers yet. I wonder why. It's probably because people have taste. It looks like he has modern day Hellcat wheels on it, which in my opinion are a great looking wheel. Uh, I don't know about on the Slime 370 Hemi Nickelodeon mobile here. I don't, I don't know about on the, on the Nickelodeon mobile. Don't know about that. At least this one does have the 6.1, which is, I guess, cool. If you are into slow ass motors, yeah, go for it. Um, he also is calling it Slime for some reason. Oh God, what is what is this shit underneath here? You're just emphasizing that you're driving an automatic, which I mean is fine, because most Dodges do not come with a manual, so I mean, it's whatever, but God, this is like the ugliest combination you could have done. 
Why would you want your piece of shit dodge to stand out and make it bright green? Like, why would you want that? That is like the one thing I wouldn't want to do. And then to do the, the Wolverine scratch marks as well. Go figure, of course. Like, come on. Like, like... <sighs> Dude, does anybody really like this up front? Does anyone really see this and think that that looks good? We saw a lot of those in a previous episode, and I just, I, I don't see the appeal. Like, never, never will I. This guy really likes fucking green, too. Somebody show this guy the Hulk, and he'll change his whole lifestyle. Dodge was really generous by giving you 180 mile per hour speedo. That is serious generosity right there. There's no way in hell this piece of shit wagon's hitting 180. I actually like Magnums. Like, I, I think they're cool. I, I think you could do some cool things to them, but this guy said yeah you probably could and then did everything opposite of that like i'm trying to th see one redeeming quality that this guy did to his car and i i really can't um but yeah the two-tone wheels what kind of tires does he have did he at least put good tires the firehawks mm, i heard those are mid tires yeah uh there's there's not one redeeming quality and I, I haven't even mentioned the lambo doors because i'm so just like numb to them it doesn't even surprise me anymore dodge owners with lambo doors if you own a dodge you're probably never going to own a lambo and if you own a Dodge, also don't put Lambo doors on your Dodge. Let's read his description. So I just noticed he unlisted it, decided to keep it himself. Does no, no descript, bro? Can somebody tell me about their damn car? This is bullshit, man. I'm furious. I'm fuming. This pisses me off. All right. Well, I'll just make a description for him. Uh, selling my 2005 Dodge Magnum. Uh, this shit goes hard. Uh, if you want babes, good for you, because you could carry all of them with this baddie right here. Uh, yeah, the 180 attack isn't quite enough. Uh, you know, I'm usually maxing that thing out on a daily. Uh, the two-tone wheels, they're not actually two-toned. I accidentally just, uh, went so fast around the track that I burnt off the paint on one. Uh, Lambo doors, because hashtag I'm exotic. Uh, Wolverine did get his hands on this one, but I kicked his ass afterwards. Uh, $15,000 is honestly just a down payment. I require, uh, 30. Take it or leave it. I know what I have. Moving on. 2006 Dodge Charger SRT8 sedan four-door. Okay, cool. SRT8. I like that. Ain't nothing wrong with that right there. And, I mean, this first photo doesn't look too depressing. I don't know why it looks like somebody chopped his springs, but I'm sure we'll see. 175,000 miles. Holy moly. Are Dodges more reliable than I actually think? Are, like, are they? Or, or are these people just not able to sell them, and then they're just stuck with them for life? It, it's one or the other. Anyways, 170... Jesus Christ, that's so many miles. 175,000 miles. $6,295. It's pretty specific. Anyways, let's uh, dive right in. First photo two things you should notice here k and n sticker and some cheap ass tail lights that's, that's pretty much all i'm grasping from this first one. Oh, dude this thing the more i look at it this thing is more of just a, a little riced out little autozone build than you would imagine like look at all the little fucking knickknacks he put around it look at his little splashes and these little what even is this what would you call this back here fucking tumor that's what i would call it you want to be side skirt like this is half a side skirt dude could not afford the full side skirt uh, the tail lights, and then look at this is just I, I hate when I see dumbasses do this. They put a wicker bill on the OEM wing, which makes no sense, and I'll explain that in a second. Oh god, it gets worse. It gets worse. Front bumper does not match. Weather guards. Somebody hit this piece of shit. Uh, I don't blame them. Probably was just trying to get it to uh, end up in a junkyard somewhere. I Like I said, don't blame him. Oh, let's take a look at this wing right here. You see why this wing doesn't make sense? Now, let me explain this really quick. W what is this doing? Okay. W what is this wicker bill doing? The air is going to choose the path of least resistance. And for actual spoilers like this, they typically flow under. Like, you get downforce from flowing under the wing. Putting this on top of the wing is not doing anything except slowing you down if that if it's even doing that and it looks stupid too it just it's so dumb anyways um it's got racing stripes uh definitely earned those out in the streets oh my god holy duct tape what is what is going on here a third of this front bumper is duct tape also spray painted too you had enough time to duct tape your front bumper spray paint it and then put racing stripes back on top of it instead of just fixing it or replacing it. Like, what the fuck is going on here? This thing, this thing deserves a salvage title. And what's up with Dodge owners destroying their interiors too? Like, this is the tackiest interior I've ever seen. We got sticker bombs. We got red trim. We got red floor mats. 
a stupid fucking steering wheel cover. I hate those. Those are just janky as all hell. But he got that Sony though. Ayo, watching all the movies on the flat screen. Look at that dirty ass, crusty ass fucking shit. Just take it off, man. If it protected your steering wheel and your steering wheel is in great condition, just take it off. You'll have better luck selling it. Like, why'd you come? Why'd you provide a photo of your musty ass fucking steering wheel cover? You really don't want to sell this car, do you? Anyways, back to square one. Yeah, this thing's a piece of shit. This this is the shittiest fucking car we've seen so far, and it's it's like this dude's dude didn't even get the right silver. He got gray. He got Nardo gray spray paint, and then didn't mask off anything. Just spray. Oh, God. People are fucking stupid. Anyways, 2006 Dodge SRT8 6.1 liter. 175,000 miles. Runs and drives good. Doubtful. Leather seats, sunroof, no leaks. Asking 6,200. Don't care. Serious buyers only. There's none of those going around here, okay? None. Thank God he didn't put back on the Wolverine scratch marks. Oh, I would have lost my shit. I would have lost my shit, man. I would have DM'd this guy personally and said, no. That's all I would have said. 6,200 bucks. Come get it. Next car. This one's sold? I wonder for how much. Does it actually say? Anyways, 107,000 miles. And it, lo it looks like this. Oh, God. All right. Well, let's take a look at it. Um, it's a V8, 5.7 liter. Cool. At least so far, I think every car, maybe except for the first one, was a V8, which is great. Um, I don't know what the theme of this car is. It kind of looks like if... Uh, oh God, I hate when people do that to the license plates, bro. Like, you're just asking to get a ticket. Anyways, um, it's kind of like if um, Spider-Man grew up in, uh, like, East L.A., I guess maybe like, you know, he didn't grow up, you know, in the nicest neighborhoods. You, you, you get what I'm saying? Like this is a hood Spider-Man right here. Spider hood. I'm just trying to make Spider-Man jokes because it's red and blue. That's, it. that's all I got. Dang. That's an angry shift right there, dude. I've, whoa, the babes are you're going to scare out the babes with that, man. When they climb in and they see that they're going to get spooked. And once again, a steering wheel cover. What is with Mopar owners in these fucking lame ass steering wheel covers? How many miles did I have? 107,000 miles? Ugh. Yeah, man, this is, uh, this is pretty fucking ugly. Dog shit wheel choice. Horrible graphics. Like, I like my Mustang, and I like my Supra, and all that shit, but I would never put a gigantic, like, Ford logo on my car, or, like, a Toyota logo or something. I don't think I'd do that. This is this is a bit much. Like, you bought the 5.7 liter, good for you. But it's, this ain't no 6.1. This ain't no SRT8. This is just the RT with the shitty eBay taillights. Hey, it's sold, though. That's something this guy can say that no one else can in this episode so it is what it is and i wouldn't even say it's really riced out i would just say it's fucking ugly something that like exhibit would do on pimp my ride anyways guys that is going to do it for this video hopefully you guys did enjoy this video if you did please let me know down below i am exhausted i am going to be working on the mustang today don't know if i will be recording it though just because i'm doing some welding and stuff nothing super exciting Anyways, subscribe, send me listings of other car manufacturers, and until next video, peace.